Hello Automation Animal Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. Today we are going to explore a powerful feature in Automation Anywhere A360, which is creating reusable board frameworks or templates. And this will help us to streamline our automation development process and uh, improve efficiency. Board frameworks are essentially pre-built structures or templates that can be used as a starting point for your automation projects. They provide a foundation with common elements and configurations, saving you time and efforts. So there can be multiple benefits of uh, using board frameworks. Faster development, consistent standards, enhanced maintainability, improved collaboration, etc. So let's create a board framework. All right, for we will create a folder for our board. So for example, if we are going to create a new board, so first of all, we will create a folder for our template or for our framework. And inside this folder, we will create subfolders. One folder will be for files or the documents. One folder will be for the main task board or the main process. And then in next folder, we will have sub task boards. And one folder will be for the utility boards or the common boards. And you can also create multiple folders. Uh, means if you are using meta boards, IQ boards, you can create more folders as per your requirements. All right. So first of all, in the files folder, we will upload all the files which are required in the board, like board config file, or there can be another, there can be another files like Python core file or other scripting files. Okay, so upload all those files in this folder. And in sub task boards, we will create all the sub task boards, which are the part of this process or this board. And in utility board, we can upload the common task boards or the utility boards, which we are going to use. Similarly, we can have meta board and IQ boards. And now go to this main task board. So here we go. Let's create a board framework. So first of all, we are going to use this try block. And for this try, we will have one catch block. And if there is any error in this main board, we are going to catch that error in this catch block. And here we are sending the email notification to the concerned team or to the team which who is supposed to uh, monitor these task boards. Okay. So if there is any error that will be catched by this uh, catch action and we are going to send one email. All right. So this will cover all the errors of our main task board or sub task boards. And as we have catch, then we should use this finally also. So after sending the email notification, we can kill the applications which we are using. Like it could be Excel or any other application. So we will kill all those applications. And uh, we are using a ta common task board to kill all the applications. And after that, if we are using any file, so we will copy all those files from our local machine to our shared drive or if there is any other file so we can create a backup of those files for example if we are running our board and it has terminated uh, due to some intermittent issue then in that case we will clear all the or we will uh, kill all the applications and we will take a backup of the files so that we can check those files it would be error logs other and other files all right so now go to the main part which will be our try block so first of all we are going to read the config file so if you are not aware of this config file concept you can check out our previous video so first of all we are going to use this config file thing we will get all the values of the variables which are available in the config file and after getting data from the config file, we will set the environment. So for that, we can create a task board. And uh, in this task board, uh, we can uh, check the and we can perform environmental checks. 
and also we can get the value of the environment variables we can check whether we are in the uh, specific environment or not and uh, if we are able to access the applications or the file folders etc a lot of checks we can apply on which are the part of that environment after that we will we are going to do the validations of the files and folder for example if there are five folders or the files which we are going which we are supposed to use in this task board so before starting our main processing we will validate whether all the files and folders are available or not if folders are not available we can create the folders but if files are not available we can not create the files i mean uh, we can create the blank files because uh, we can only create the blank files but if we are using a specific file and it is not available like config file then also we can uh, apply a check we can perform all those files and uh, folder validations and if there is any uh, file is missing we can send a notification to the support team or the production support team or the concern team whoever is supposed to manage all those files all right so after that we are going to kill the applications or the sessions for example we are going to use excel ms word outlook etc in this process or in this board and if there is any existing instance opened already so this will kill all those instances of those application which are the part of this process after that we are going to use logging means we will lo add the logs uh, means uh, you can uh, so we are going to uh, log the audit logs means this we have perform all those steps and uh, we are going to run this board etc anything you want to add uh, in your uh, audit logs and uh, we have already posted a video on audit logs you can check that video for more details after that we are going to send an email notification means this board has started or uh, uh, we have performed uh, these validations successfully now what is going to do this so kind of uh, notification if it is required uh, it, it is kind of acknowledgement email all right after that we are going to do the main thing which for which we are creating this bot so for that we will use our subtask ports you can create call your subtask port like subtask one two three or you can call your subtask ports in one in this uh, task board so here you will call only one sub subtask port and inside this subtask board you can call other subtask so you can uh, do this as per your requirements and at the end we are again going to add the logs means our board has completed successfully or if there is an exception or etc you can add those things to the audit logs and at the end we will share all the output files we will share the results with the concern teams means uh th this is the part of the business process uh if you if you are supposed to share any files with the business teams or the client or if you are supposed to share some results or if you are supposed to share a report of the bot it means bot has performed all those st these steps and these are the records which were successfully processed these are the pro records or these many records were uh, marked as exception so like that you can share the output files or egg or uh, again an acknowledgement even that uh, or uh, it could be an uh, it could be a success email means our vote has completed successfully and these are the results so, uh, this is the basic uh, template which we can use in our all the task boards and uh, we can add uh, more steps in this as per our requirements we can modify the steps also means if we need logging in after each step so we can do that as well and if you want to send a notification after each step we can do that also but i think this is the perfect uh, basic uh, framework which we should use in our all the boards Thank you guys for watching this video.